on the Periscopers. Hearts flying. Hearts flying. Room blowing up. What up, F... What's up, Fernie? F3 Ernie. Okay, let me get my tweets in. Let, let me get my tweets in check now. What's up, everybody? Thanks for coming out here. Uh, we are going to get the show started in a couple minutes. What's good? Nivasunt. Sick. Bo 3 0. <coughs> Ross Boss 777. 777. Hawaii. Come on, high risk 808. What's up, brah? Oh, man. Bruh. Um, did you see? Uh, see, uh, the good thing about the internet now is you don't have to. Watch, watch the MTV Music Awards. Yeah. Did you see a Kanye speech? I did. I, I heard it this morning. Okay, we need to radio. cut his sound bite where he keeps on saying "brah" <laughs> and just randomly throwing this. Shit. It's hilarious. He's like, "Listen to the kids, brah, bro, bro, <laughs> bro, bro. Listen to the kids, bro." It's hella funny. I was digging it. Okay, Yeezy twenty twenty. <laughs> Shut up! Don't even, don't even. I don't want to go there. Easy twenty twenty. Okay, we're on the front door of YouTube. Oh, we are. Our we are. YouTube we, channel now. YouTube channel. There, we representing. Okay, where's my okay. represent? Okay, let me, let me. Oh, did you uh, send me the link of the YouTube? I will send it to you. Right send it so I can there. say hi to the people in there and just say what's up and chat with them. <laughs> Nikki Miley, we're hilarious. what's that noise from? I think it's my laptop. Oh, is it okay? I was trying. I was. In, I was making sure it wasn't me. Boom. Alas. Okay, we're see boom. Where did you send it? Uh, I'm emailing it to you. Right oh, now. you're emailing it to me. Okay, hold on. Let's see if email works here. Everybody, hope you guys are having a good week. Uh, thanks for hanging with us. Last, sometimes we uh, have to get our schedule changed out, so we couldn't do it on Monday. I mean, on Friday last week. But Stephen Beecham is in the house, the yes. man running the show. I was sick last week. He was I'm sick sorry. like a dog. That's what happens like when you dog. get kids. Like a dog. <laughs> 250 people hanging out with us. Give me some hearts, Hello. yo. Let's get some hearts. Express myself <laughs> to hearts. All right. For those of you that don't know what we do here, uh, my name is Brian Tong. I'm from CNET.com. One of the leaders in uh, consumer technology. The leader. the leader. One of the leaders. The leader. <laughs> it's like... We're number one. <laughs> We're number one. We're number one. We're talking iPhone 6S, Apple TV. We've got some good treats for you. Uh, we have the Swatch. The Swatch. Wait, what is it? Swatch. Swatch what? Smartwatch. Swatch Smartwatch contest. We have <laughs> the Magic Mike Mouse hey, someone's contest. Someone's calling me. Don't they know I'm on? Dude, tell, tell them to turn the phone off. So we've got real stories, real information. On, uh, we're going to have fun with this. So we will be starting shortly in about another two minutes. For those of you that are watching YouTube that always say, I hate how it takes so long for the show to start. We no, to re- I've I've seen the opposite. I've seen people say I like the beginning of the show oh, they like, before they like, you guys start the show. So maybe we should do like half an hour before it. Yeah, let's do like an hour. <laughs> let's do an hour. Let's do an hour, and then the actual show is like twenty minutes. Yeah, I hour like it. pre-show. Okay, um, so friends, family, loved ones, beautiful people. I think I'm good to go. I'm good to go too. We we're hitting two sixty eight right now. Two what on the periscopers? Oh, okay. The scopes like, don't what time play. Is it? Two, what? <laughs> if you guys want us to start the show, give me some hearts. Hearts. That was weird. The wave, the waveform you just created with that hearts thing was was weird. Oh man, I got a lot of shirts. David nine nine eight five. Um. Also, can you guys on Periscope? What sometimes is hard. Can you guys hear Stephen when he talks normally through the show? Check. I'm I'm just saying. Well, they have check. To... Okay, hopefully they can hear you. They're probably watching on both Periscope, li- on live stream, YouTube. <laughs> And then they listen to it on iTunes afterwards. Yeah. Then they, they download say yes, they it. Can, they can hear you. They can hear you. <laughs> okay. Sometimes, though, when we play audio clips and do certain things on the Periscope, you can't hear us. So you just kind of got to bear with us. He's like, barely, Pimp Squad. Has, someone said barely, hashtag Pimp Squad. Is that what we call us? Is that what we are, the Pimp Squad? Pimp Squad. Shoot. Should we rename the show? Pimp Squad? Pimp Squad? <laughs> Apple Pie Apple Pimp, Pimp, Pimp Squad. <laughs> <laughs> Dig it. Um, <clears throat> okay, I'm good to go. All right. Uh, I think... I think I'm pretty much good to go. If you give me two more seconds to re resend out this uh this tweet thing, and then um I'll be good to go. Okay. Okay. Hold on. I'm just telling the lovely people on the internet uh, how to get to our what should we call it YouTube stream, and then um come on, man, come on, man. Okay. Hold on. Hello, lovely people on the internet. Dude, the Periscope link is like the longest thing. Ever have you ever noticed that? Really, it generates like a super it's like long a super long like blah 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 blah. Okay, let's see if this works out before we get us get this party going. They're all yup. 
Okay. Give me two more seconds. Sorry, y'all. We got Finland checking in. We got South America. Oh, yeah, America yeah. Tell us where you're from. Three we got... We're hitting 330 now. Tell us where y'all from because we got to represent. You got to represent your town, your city. London, Hit and Shaw, 13. Texas, James Ricky Jr. Korea, Korea, Seoul, Las Vegas. Okay, now it's moving fast. Landon, Small Valve, Venezuela, Brooklyn, Ohio, Gauss House. And Mr. J. Madison, Ar- Argentina. Oh, my goodness. Argentina, Phoenix, New Jersey, Mexico, Ralpha, Ralpha underscore T. I got you. I got you. Wait, wait, wait. What's going on here? Sao Paulo, Brazil. ASU. Oh, the ASU. ASU, uh, they've got some, uh, I don't want to say it out loud, but got some nice talent over at ASU. If you know what, I, if you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we're almost there. Should we start the show already? Let's do it. Am I Am I just delaying this whole process? Okay. Almost there. Two seconds. Three seconds. Okay. I don't even know what I'm going to say. We're good. Okay. I'm good to go, bro. All Sorry right. about that. I would just no had to send the tweet to let everyone know where to find us. Okay, here we go. Okay. Turkey. 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 Checking in. That's a, that's the username. <laughs> Hard it up. Okay. We're ready to go, guys. We won't keep you waiting anymore. Thanks for hanging with us. Istanbul. Bruce Lee kick. Okay. I'll shut up now. Let's go. Here we go. From the top of the CBS Interactive Building in San Francisco, it's the Apple Byte Extra Crunchy Podcast with your host, Mr. Brian Tom. Woo! Yo, bro, bruh, bruh. <laughs> Listen to the kids, bruh. Listen to the kids. Listen. Everybody, <laughs> welcome to the Apple Byte Extra Crunchy episode six. We've got a lot to talk about. We're just about a... A week away, a week and a half away from Apple's big announcements, iPhone 6S, all that. We've got tons of good stuff on the show this week. First of all, our Magic Mike Mouse contest. We asked you guys to submit pictures, and you all did. We had a good amount. We had, of, we had a good, good amount, turnout dude, of cool photoshopped of pictures. Also, uh, the Swatch, what was it? Smart, smart. I can't even <laughs> say it once. Smart swa- Swatch Smartwatch. Swatch Smartwatch yes. contest. Yes. That's also will be happening today on the show. Um, lots of great things. We also make this really interactive. We have our Periscopers watching the show. They want to learn about all the newest things. We have our YouTube stream going on. We have our live stream going on. So this is a fully interactive show, but we really do want to cater this to those of you listening at home that are like on your bus ride or on your yeah. commute that just want to hear our soothing it's voices. It's an audio podcast. <laughs> But we're streaming everywhere. (laughs) It's like a multimedia (laughs) audio podcast. Anyways, uh, everybody, thanks so much. We also, if you want to be a part of this show, we take voicemails, no live calls yet. The phone number is 1-800-616-2638. Tell us your name. Get your question or your comment in about 20 seconds. If you don't, hang up and call back. You know, we get a lot of that, actually. We get guys leaving, too. Like they, Phantom, like they leave ones. one that's too long, and then they, I hear them say, oh, man, that wasn't good. And then they, <laughs> they call back and leave another one that's shorter. Oh, man, that wasn't Thanks good. Thanks for that, guys. That wasn't good. Okay, let's get to the show, shall we, my man? Yeah. Did I even introduce Stephen Beecham? Jeez, I forgot to. Hello, everybody. I'm Stephen Beecham, video podcast producer at CNET.com. Podcast extraordinaire producer, octopus man. He's got, like, ten arms. He's doing all kinds of work. But uh, Stephen makes the show happen. You have no idea all the work that he does behind the scenes. We always got to give him props. And he also talks. Gracias. You talk. I talk. I say things on the, <laughs> into a microphone. <laughs> I try. I try. I'm not I'm not the Apple, uh, uh, what is it, uh, um, the enthusiast? Apple expert Hard- no. that you are, but I, I, I can definitely offer my two cents. Oh, no. You, you give us the real world perspective, my man. Yeah. I'm an Apple user. Exactly. So that's that's all we need. And even if you don't use Apple things, we got to bring someone in here. We'll work on that. We're just just having fun. All right. Okay. Here we go. iPhone success stories. Now I want to preface the show and pretty much say uh, today's show is brought to you by nine to five Mac. And the reason why I say (laughs) that is, oh my gosh, Mark Gurman, 
and his team over there, uh, they are just beasting it. They pretty much have broken 90% of the news that's out there today about what's coming next week. So we've got to give them props uh, because they are really right now just pulling everything. I mean, I don't know how many people on their team actually even work for Apple. I know. Because it just is like. Does Apple scoop them on a lot of stuff? They they, they no, have to, right? No, no. They, no? They've got their contacts. Okay. okay. They're, they're legit. Okay, so let's start off with the iPhone. Uh, we know this. This is public information. Apple released uh, their official invite to the Apple keynote, which will be September 9th. That is nothing new. Uh, the cool thing on there is the headline on the invite that said, Hey, Siri, uh, give us a hint. Mm. And so when I first see that, I, I instantly think, look, we already know Siri's on the iPhone. This is teasing the Apple TV that is expected to show up with Siri capability. I see. I see. Okay. But we wanted to try something because if it, they're almost telling us, like, we should ask Siri what, what we hear, right? Yeah. All right? So I'm going to ask Siri and see what Siri says. Okay. If you have your phone plugged in to an outlet right now, I would advise you disconnect it because your Siri is going to go off. In <laughs> fact, it already might have. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's try this first one. All right. Hey, Siri, give me a hint. Can you get a hint? No. You may, however, get a what what. Uh, what what? Get a what what? All right, let's do it again. Hey, Siri, give me a hint. Look deep within yourself and you will find the answer, especially on September 9th. Ooh, Ooh September. Okay, we're getting somewhere Look now. Look deep within yourself. <laughs> hey, Siri, give me a hint. Well, I hear there's something big happening on September 9th. Come on. Okay, let's try one more. She's got she's got a she's got all kinds of tricks up her sleeve. <laughs> hey Siri, give me a hint. Well, I hear there's something big happening on September 9th. <laughs> what well, you know what? One more time. Hey Siri, give me a hint. Look deep within yourself and you will find uh... Come on! She gave me like a hint of lime. One time she told me to go check out the rumor blogs like everyone else does. Oh my god. Of course Siri don't want to talk I to I wonder if they like act they're probably actively programming that each day to come up with different <laughs> answers, right? Man, whoever is doing that job is probably getting paid more than you and I combined oh, at man. Apple. That's that's the sad thing, right? That is sad. Dude's like <laughs> one hundred thousand dollars for that little entry. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, the event will happen on September 9th, but all the new see, people said I set off their watch, I set off ah. their phones. That's Shamar funny. Shamar's like, Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Bra. 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 <laughs> All right. Um, here's some of the news straight from 9 to 5 Mac uh, about what we're expecting to see in this iPhone 6S. That's why you guys are all here. iPhone 6S camera appears to be reportedly a 12 megapixel camera. That's on the rear facing side. It will shoot for the first time in Apple history, but of course, not the first time on a phone. 4K video recording. Awesome. It also have a feature uh, for flash for selfies. What 9 to 5 Mac has said is that your screen will turn white and kind of flash your face with kind of, with an even, uh, you know, with, with an even flash because it's using the screen. That will be a part of it as well. They actually said the optics in the phone might be a 13 megapixel camera, but because of image stabilization. And kind of cropping the area where you're, uh, you know, it might move or tilt. Uh, it is said to be a 12 megapixel camera. So you just you just said that your whole screen is going to flash, like yeah, white? exactly. Oh, so it'll, so cool. it'll light and it'll kind of give you that screen glow. Yeah, yeah. If you need it, I actually use that here. Like this computer right here lights my face. Yes. So it's perfect. It looks beautiful. Thank you very much. No, can we get a shot of your face there? Wow, that that is. Let me turn off the light here. And see. Maybe it's Maybelline. You see how it gets darker? Wow. That's impressive. Oh, <laughs> you guys have no idea how the technology here works at yeah. the studio. You guys, you guys are missing out. It's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, also, they kind of got the parts of the phones. They compared the camera size. It appears that the FaceTime camera on the new 6S will be larger in size. Uh, people asking, what about the processor? It's been pretty much confirmed and thrown all over the place. Apple will use an A9 processor. That is what is assisting in giving this camera the ability to shoot 4K video uh, do and do other things beyond just that. Nice. Kind of crazy, right? Yeah. Also, this is kind of a cool scoop. I, I, I like this. The iPhone 6S will reportedly, this is again 9 to 5 Mac. I told you 90% like of the sh news out there is thanks <laughs> yeah. to these guys just killing it. They need to hire us. <laughs> you, you trying to leave, Steven? I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. 
You better let me know because I might just ride on your back. Nine to five Mexican. You and I, to call you and I, us and hey, like, you hey. and I are rolling out together, okay? Yeah, they're gonna call us and be like, "Hey, we realize you're doing a nine to five Mac podcast." <laughs> uh, no, but they don't. They don't. They don't have the Beecham BTZ style, no, man. No, we don't. No. They don't got the swag, bro. No, no swag, bro. People, people <laughs> listening, they're like, "I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop and listen to this podcast." <laughs> they're saying bra too much. It's from the Kanye speech from yeah. the VMAs. Look it up. Yeah, it's bro. funny. Come on, man. Kanye 2020. Okay, also, um, the iPhone 6S is planning to bring the animated motion-like wallpapers Ooh. to from the watch to the phone. Okay. Now, how cool is that? What what makes it what happened is a uh, 95 Max said they had different types of screensavers. One was kind of like this uh, colored smoke animation. Another one was like a koi fish moving around, uh, similar to kind of like the jellyfish, the flowers. They weren't sure if those wallpapers were actually coming, but then. A picture of packaging revealed that koi fish they were talking about on the cover of the actual iPhone 6s packaging. That's cool. Wasn't that like one of the first ones, like the very first uh, on the iPhone one? Wasn't there like a koi fish kind of like there was like well, there, some there, was, oh, there was there was you know what it was right? It was, it was a clownfish in a green That's in a right. green CNN. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't animated, but that was that was their signature wallpaper. Yeah. it was like, and it was a nod to Nemo because you know Disney, Pixar, yeah. Apple, yeah. that whole relationship. That's yeah, right. It was a clownfish. It's, when I saw in, in this story, that's immediately what I thought. I was like, didn't they have like a fish like in the iPhone one? So that's funny. Oh, uh, your brain is cracking me up. So uh, that that's what we're expecting to see. I, I like it a lot. Johnny Ive even talked about it in a New York Times article earlier in the year. He did say, though, one of the reasons why it really looks good, at least for people on the Apple Watch, is that the Apple Watch is, is able with the new screen technology they have in it to really show off like a true black. So that image of the jellyfish or butterfly gets lost in the background, whereas with the iPhone, you can kind of still see it's a grayer color where the screen actually is. Okay, There's no yeah. kind of full, just deep black yeah. surface. If you guys look at your phone and you just have it on generically, you'll kind of see it's a little grayer versus black. So there you go. I don't know how much battery life it's going to take up. <laughs> yeah, it's going to suck your battery, guys. It's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to suck it dry. Uh, the other thing is a lot of rumors that the iPhone 6S will be a – there might be a pink one. Those reports were a little – they were kind of jumping the gun. 9 to 5 Mac again reports that it's the rose gold color, kind of that coppery color to match uh, the options that are for the Apple Watch that are out there. So – Guess what? Rose gold watch. That's awesome. Rose gold phone. Yeah. You're going to get a rose gold MacBook coming soon? Oh, my gosh. That's. I think there's a small percentage of people that are rocking all all gold everything. I get. If you're all rose gold, please send us a picture of all your rose gold uh, <laughs> wait, gear, wait, please. Wait, wait. All rose gold? Is that, a, is that another <laughs> say five times fast? That's, yeah. All, that all a, rose gold. That's hard to rose, say. All rose gold. All rose gold. <laughs> It sounds, like a, sounds like an evil character in like Al Ghul. Some oh, it's cartoon. like Ra's Ra Al Ghul. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Rose Gold. Ra's Al Ghul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ra's Al Gold. Ra's Al Gold. <laughs> Ra's Al Gold. All Rose Gold. Yeah. All right. So that's that's some of the rumors that are coming out with the uh, iPhone 6S stuff. Uh, also, we don't expect to see an iPhone 6C. There's a lot of rumors that maybe we'll see something like that. That is expected to not appear at this keynote. In fact, that project appears to potentially be dead, but we will see the iPhone, current iPhone 6 and 6 Plus shift down as kind of the more entry-level models. They'll probably probably be cut down by $100, which is what's happened in the past with every you know new generation. That old one stays for a while. Um, so we'll have six. How fun will that be for a retail associate? Yes. Which, six. Can you tell me the difference? 6S Plus? <laughs> Wait, is the 6 Plus the 6S or is... Excuse me, sir. What's the difference between the 6X and the... The what? Do you have a, a 6C? A 6C? iPhone 6C? <laughs> you know you know that's going to happen. Yeah. Wait, wait. What's that over there? Is that the iPhone 5S? <laughs> no, no, sir. It's the 6S. That's wait, the 6S. so... But I never had a... Did they go from 5S to 6S or 5 to 6? No, the, that's the 5 plus oh, no. X. What? Sorry. It's, it's going to be... I'm confusing myself now. I'm confused. you want to just stop the show right now? <laughs> yeah, let's stop it. Okay, Steven, you got something you want to talk about. Okay, yeah. Okay, so Pew Research Poll came out with yeah. a new study that said 82% of people polled think it's rude to use your smartphone in a social gathering. But 89% do it anyway. And I think I'm one of them, probably. <laughs> I'm sure I am. Uh, here's, here's the story. So um, they, did this, they did this big poll here. And many, many do – many have an excuse, they said. So 
some smartphone users they like they'll use their phone that's related to the gathering you know they'll take yeah. pictures of what's going on and posting a to the post a video or something do a vine video of what's going on 41 percent share something that happened at the party 38 percent like to get information that would be interesting to the group maybe they're talking about something like some movie and then you got to find out who the director was or something but i thought it was very interesting 82 percent think it's rude but 90 89 90 percent still do it well, this so, is you do know. You guys do it. Yeah, this is this is a little phone etiquette story to piggyback on the iPhone. What's your phone etiquette? I will tell you that because you know we get so busy every day. Me and my buddies, we have this pact, okay? And uh, we only get these are some of my old high school college buddies, and we're a crew that we get together maybe every once every. Geez, now it's like two to three months because it's so much harder, right? Oh, you know how much harder it is. That's pretty good though. And it's like two there's three months. Is good. There's a group of like eight or nine guys, and typically at least <laughs> six of us show up uh-huh. when we go to dinner. We all we all text our well I text my bae, my yeah. boo. Hey bae. They make they they call them girlfriends or wives. I'm gonna be like, incommunicado. Bae. Bae. For yeah. A few. I'm going dark. <laughs> we put the phones in the center and stack them up. That's cool. If you reach for your phone, you have to pay for dinner. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've I've heard I've heard that. And it's That's awesome. Good. It it it's like no one's looking at their stupid phone. And sometimes we try and like trick someone to be like, Oh yeah, like what is that? Hey, can you check your phone? until we all agree that okay you can go check your phones before we roll out to the next spot you guys should try sometime have you ever had to buy dinner not because of that okay yeah not because of that hell no (laughs) could you imagine pretty good but if a phone goes off constantly and it's someone who has a kid yes then we allow that but it it doesn't it's never happened in the past in the three years that we've done this whole new this whole new initiative yeah someone's all someone wrote on periscope i cheat with my smartwatch Ooh, ooh. Well, yeah, I guess, I guess that makes sense. You I turn, I don't, out. I don't. But are you that desperate that you gotta look at your? See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, Do we what is so this? important? You gotta what? see someone's update about their kid who just like, you know, did something neat at a whatever. People asking when's the Apple event? September 9th. I'm gonna answer that right now, so you don't, so you're not wondering. People in the chat can answer these questions for people that are asking. Yes, and we will be doing a big live show that day. Oh my goodness! Around the uh, Apple event, so please tune in to livestream.com/cnet, and we'll also be on YouTube. So, and maybe I'll just leave my Periscope phone open. Who knows? Yeah, I don't know. Why not? But yeah, uh, always live coverage here at CNET. We start typically like an hour before the actual keynote. We go through the keynote. You guys can all watch it. Then you come back. We take your phone calls live. We just goof around and have some fun. So speaking of fun, uh, we talked about last week how we wanted to see your Magic Mike Mouse winners. Uh, yeah. You guys had a chance to submit to us. Show us your amazing Photoshop abilities. So uh, we got – We have I would some say we, amazing well, ones. I didn't even show you all of them. I just picked like kind of some oh, of the wow. best of the group. We had about 15 submissions, and uh, we're going to – go over the one that steven thought was the best the one that i thought was the best and then the one that won we will describe this to the audio listeners as well and not dwell on it too much so that you can understand why this is important so if you guys want to see the magic mic mouse this is a world premiere apple bite extra crunchy product never seen before Beach this em. only exists on the apple bite extra only crunchy podcast. exclusive content yes come on son no one else has this and after Bra. you see it you're gonna want one raw <laughs> Bruh. Listen to the kids. <laughs> yeah. Bruh. Okay, so let's let's check out number one. This is not the winner, by the way. This, this is, is your one. favorite pick. No, it's not my favorite. Oh, okay. I will say my uh, both of we agreed on the both of our both okay, of us okay. agreed on the same favorite. Okay, we'll we'll get to it so people listening can be like, oh, come on, guys. Yeah. So this is a good one here. Oh, bra. <laughs> that, that looks like something that would you know like you could buy. It, right. It's basically taking one of the images from the trailer poster where uh, Channing Tatum is thrusting his uh, knees out with his like hips out like he wants to do you. Like that's what it's it's on the mouse. He's flying in the air too. It's like, it looks uh, like. and he has his hat on back. Give it to me. Okay, that's He's one. He's oiled up. Okay, next one. Number two. Now this one. This is, one is. This, this one, is your hair. This one. This guy is just trying to play <laughs> to the crowd. All right. What's his name? Do you know the name on the file? Because we put their name. But this guy. This guy's brown nose. He put my stripe on a mouse. Oh, James Ellis. James Ellis put yeah. my put put my hair on it. That's not magic a magic mic. That's not a magic mic mouse. That's not a magic mic mouse. That's James. It's funny. Okay. It's funnier now that I see it on a bigger screen. Yeah, it is. It's true. Okay. okay. Number three. Let us Tyler, know who they are. Tyler Warren. Tyler Warren. He came out. This is a pretty good one. 
It's, I mean, again, it's another shirtless Channing Tatum picture. Shirtless Channing Tatum, but this time he's wearing, like, he has a collar with no shirt and, he has, <laughs> and a tie. And he's wearing, like, some weird kind of cuffs. Around. Oh, he's got cufflinks. <laughs> well, no, but still no shirt. No, it's like the shirt it's with the weird. collar and the cuffs. It's like, yeah. It's, <laughs> I've, this is this. I don't know if this is an emerging male stripper fashion trend for all of you watching Magic Mike that are pretending like you don't watch the movie. Like you can you can inform us, okay? All okay. right, that's cool. Thank you, thank okay. you. That was Tyler Warren. Yes, Tyler okay. Warren. Thank you. Okay. And uh, third runner up, Evan Anderson, sent this. Oh, this was my favorite. Okay, <laughs> I had to pick this out specifically, Tyler. He took two app for those of you listening. He took two apples and he took like the little top of the stem of the apple. He made the two apples side by side. It looks like junk. <laughs> it looks like man junk. Yeah. Made out of apple logos. I thought that was very inventive. It is. And so I wanted to give him a honorary honorable mention for me. <laughs> right on. Okay. Okay, and let me start this music again. Uh, <laughs> number, I gotta get you a longer second, track. Second runner up is from Fletcher Block. Now this is, I like this one a lot because he has the suit, he has the shirt that we were talking about that has just the collar and the the uh, the thing, but he's also wearing a, t- a top hat and he has like a a magic, a magic like a magic a wand. wand, which is poorly photoshopped, which makes it even better, I think. But he did resize the mouse so it's more of a square shape. Yes, and the Apple logo is co- covering his genital Gen- area, <laughs> so that's cool. Okay, 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 and the winner and. Do we have a drum roll or do we need to make it right now? Uh, we're going to have to make a okay, drum roll. Let's okay, do a drum roll. And the winner. And the winner is of the Apple Bite Magic Mike Mouse Contest, Jordan Richards with an actual Magic Mouse. He, it's, it's, it's literally. It's a mouse. <laughs> it's a mouse. With Channing like, Tatum's face for the face of the mouse. Yeah, not like a computer mouse, like a like, like a the mouse, animal. Like, like an animal mouse. marsupial. Like, <laughs> Wait, wait, is a mouse a marsupial? Is it a marsupial? No, no, marsupials have to have a pouch. A kangaroo's a marsupial. You're right, you're right. A yeah, koala's a, a marsupial. Is it a mammal? Is it breastfeed? I don't know what a mouse is. No, does it is. get no a mammal gives birth? Wait, so wait, wait. What is a mouse? A mouse is a mammal. Is it a mouse it, it breastfeeds? It nipple feeds. It's <laughs> okay. got nipples. <laughs> okay. A mammal right. has nipples. All right. Mammal nipple magic mics. Mouse. It's got nipples, it's a mammal. It's basically a picture from. It looks like a hamster more with like. He's saying. A he's saying. He's saying. He's saying magic. Yeah, he's saying magic. Okay. All this right. all people that are on Periscope that can't see the images. They're like, this is killing me. <laughs> this topic is dead. So maybe we. Well, now you gotta watch the show, man. Yeah, maybe we. Maybe we. Maybe we uh, marinated on that too long. I'm sorry for all, all our right. listeners. Stick with us because. Um, I don't know what. What do you think? What do you think we should talk about? What do What do people think we should talk about? Um. Let me see real quick. Um. How about. I'm just curious about Apple TV. Oh, Apple TV. Yeah. Our man wants to know about Apple TV. Okay. Tons and tons of good stuff uh, coming about from the Apple TV news world. Again, thanks to our friends at 9 to 5 Mac. I just noticed that 9 to 5 Mac also has 9 to 5 Google. They do. They have I, 9 I to 5. Every, they have, but 9 to 5 Mac is their bread and butter. Yeah. They're, they're legit. That's okay. Cool. Apple TV. The fourth generation coming in October for under $200. Now, according to the reports, Apple is playing with the idea of a $149 to $199 price tag. Currently, the current Apple TV has been dropped to $69, in case you didn't know. I think based on the current landscape, $199 is a lot to ask for, considering yeah. everyone else's is pretty much Roku's $99, are like, $49. Yeah. Like, they're like $50. Bucks. Totally. Don't do $199, Apple. Like, Especially when you don't even have your live TV streaming service coming until next year, don't Come do, on, don't, yeah. bra, bra, <laughs> don't do that. Yeah, don't I mean, do that. you're gonna you're gonna kill yourself. So, um, it will get again get that streaming service next year. Uh, tons of stuff though we expect to see from the Apple TV for according to Nine to Five Mac, gaming and Siri will be a major focus as part of this whole new product, and I love. Okay, everything about the Apple TV, for those that aren't up to speed, this is what we're expecting to see. This is the product that I am the most excited about at the keynote coming on September 9th. So we're talking about a redesigned Apple TV, a Siri-enabled Apple TV so you can navigate through the menus, a a remote that has some touch capabilities, kind of like a MacBook trackpad, App Store capability. So we're talking about apps and games will now be available through your TV set. 
And then let, let's talk about the fact that it has already been pretty much confirmed that it will be one of the central pieces for the home, right? The iHome platform, Apple's, mm. Apple's HomeKit platform. Not you can turn off lights with your Apple TV it, remote. It's the developers, uh, developer notes and just the logs have showed that, you know, developer files, sorry, in, in the in the SDKs have shown that HomeKit is a big part of it. This is going to be oh. a big thing. So that's why I'm excited about it. Um, I have an Apple TV. I kind I use it decently, mostly because all my content is on an Apple TV. Mm-hmm. So that's that's where it's at. But gaming in Siri will be a major focus. Um, there were rumors that the remote was going to have kind of like a Wiimote type of action where it had a pointer and you could kind of move it around like a mouse. That's cool. Um, or if you have an LG TV, you guys are super familiar about it. Also, it will have a button to use the Siri prompt, much like the Amazon Fire uh, product does. But this Apple TV remote is supposed to be only connecting via Bluetooth and not through any type of IR or you know camera system mm. that can track it. Yeah. So I've got to imagine that wand capability is not going to uh, Yeah, be there. I don't think that's going to happen. It just, you won't be able to like point it at the screen yeah. and see like a little mouse on the screen. If it's just Bluetooth, it's just Bluetooth. Yeah. All right? Someone is flooding the chat with all types of nonsense <laughs> anyways rodent by the way um mice are rodents <laughs> i know but is a rodent a mammal dude <laughs> i don't know dude i'm serious <laughs> I was, we'll start confused guys so, someone has to someone has to get it straight thank you someone has to get it straight <laughs> okay so um yes that will be part of it also um the the app aspect uh there's a, reportedly some sort of a accelerometer detection in this remote so you can use it for like driving games and things of that nature oh that's cool yeah it's pretty crazy hold on um because people are can i can i block this guy please there block we go him. Block. blocked you're blocked, blocked. bro you're blocked someone's ruined, trying to ruin this horrible <laughs> get out of here okay so apple tv i mean steven apple tv any appeal to you or not or no because i already have a Nintendo Wii U. I have a PlayStation 3. <laughs> I have a Roku. I have, uh, the, what is it? The YouTube uh, Chromecast. So I mean, I don't have. I don't need any. I don't have any room for anything else. On yeah. My thing you know. I, I understand. I have, that. I have ten different ways to stream video. So I'm cool. You're cool. Yeah. You're good. All right. So we uh, do this next story, or, or are you gonna do it? Yeah. No. No. Why oh, don't the, you do it? The no, Google. No. The Google Android thing. Well, or? I mean, it's just a quick note that. Okay. Just today, uh, people have been asking about uh, Android Wear coming to iOS, yes. and Google officially launched the Android Wear app that allows certain Android Wear watches to be completely compatible with your iPhone, which That's is pretty cool. crazy, which is awesome. The thing about it is the Apple Watch still hasn't even taken off that well, right? It's done okay, all right, uh-huh. but now you have Android Wear. They're going to come out with a flood of watches at IFA 2015 in Berlin uh, at the end of this week. So we're going to get oh, yeah. a monsoon of watches. If you guys haven't looked at all these crazy smart watches that are potentially coming out, you've got to check out this thing from Huawei. It's the Huawei watch. Mm. It's probably the best-looking smart watch out on the market that we've seen today so far. I think I've heard Jessica Dolcourt talk about that. Huawei. Huawei, Huawei. watch. Huawei. I could say Huawei watch <laughs> better than smart watch. Smart watch. Watch smart watch. Smart watch. It's a, wait, Huawei wait, watch. Huawei. Yeah. Huawei. That rolls off the tongue. It's Huawei easier. <laughs> All right, let's go. That's another story from 9 to 5 Mac, keeping Again? up with the 9 to 5 Mac theme here. <laughs> Apple launches iSight, an iSight camera replacement program from the iPhone 6 Plus. So on the 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 backside camera, right? Yes. Or the, the, the front side camera? The, the, the rear camera. The rear the camera, camera on the iPhone 6 Plus. Yes. Some devices were having problems, and they were taking blurry photos. So Apple has announced this program. So if you could bring in your iPhone 6 Plus and get it, get the camera replaced. Not the phone, right? Just the camera piece. Yes. So, um, so yeah, if you guys are having problems with blurry photos, please take it into Apple and get it fixed ASAP. Yeah, they can, you can go to the website on their support page and you can enter in your serial number. Um, I did say on the actual Apple Byte show, you might have you might thought you actually had bad eyesight, but you actually had... <laughs> A bad eyesight. <laughs> uh, I see what you did there. See, just, I get it. Did you yeah. see? I see what I what I did yeah, there. I saw. You saw. <laughs> are people so still cool. are people still listening right now? I think I they hope are. so. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I had a problem with my iPhone too. I think it was like the I, the headphone jack stopped working all of a sudden. I took it in the 
the Apple store and they just they're like, oh yeah, this is something that's that you didn't cause. So we're gonna give you a new iPhone. Oh, that's right that's now. nice. Do you use yeah. a? Do you get Apple Care on all your stuff? Because I, I do did all the when time. I when I first buy it, yeah. but I, I don't renew it. This is what I do. I get Apple Care on my phone, and then right before the new phone comes out, because there's always something wrong or messed up with my phone. Yeah, I just swap it out for a new phone and then sell it. Nice. And I get it get a nice chunk of change back. Yeah, it's pretty. It's, cool. it's, it's, a, it's a smart thing to do. Hell yeah. Okay, uh, you know, because we've been chatting and chatting back and forth, um, I think we should uh, start doing our phone calls. You want to do that? Let's do it. Okay. Okay. Caller number one. I'm just curious about Apple oh, TV. We talked. We talked about that already. We already talked to him. <laughs> Sorry. I know. Just... Well, this is John uh, for the Apple um, iPhone six. When would it be coming with a better cord? They have better cords out on the market. Them, but a- Apple will not approve them because it cuts into their fee. But they need a better cord because when you're spending twenty dollars a cord every month and a half, you basically pay for an iPhone just right. in cord. <laughs> when will they come with a better system? Do you know? This is John Haynes. I don't John think Haynes. I don't think we do know, right? But he has a point, man. Oh, John Haynes? John Haynes. Talking about cords and how crappy Apple's cords are and how they break all the time. It's been this way from their power adapters six, seven plus years ago. Dude, every Apple cord I have is frayed and falling apart. Do I have? No, every one. my current one is all bendy and the rubber is all like really? breaking and snapping and everything. The only one that is not is the one that I bought that was gen- generic that I got on Amazon Ooh. for five bucks. That's the only one that's not broken, I swear. Like, Weird. How much do these co- cables cost? Twenty bucks. He's like, yeah. yeah. He's like, he he must really go through a lot of cables. Yeah. But it's it's a funny exaggeration. He's like, I could already pay for my phone. I know. With how many cables I broke. I mean, with the the old headphones too. I used to go through those like those were garbage. Like, yeah. Man. Like every like two months, I'd go back to the store and take them, and they'd give me a new pair. So. I- you know, they will, they'll never – it's it's because they're more worried about the aesthetic of the cable and the wires than they are about the durability of them. That's just what it comes down to. Hmm. They'd rather wrap it in this nice, soft, rubbery material that breaks and that, you know, weathers down easily, snaps, and then it exposes the cords, and the cords get messed up. That's yeah. what it comes down to. Yeah, so – You know what that is, Stephen? That is a bad <laughs> apple. And <laughs> if I had a picture of a bad apple, I would I would have shown it to you. Yes. Which we don't need to show. This is an audio podcast. <laughs> although <laughs> although it's extremely video heavy today. It's very video heavy. <laughs> okay, any other calls, my man? Yeah, let's listen to this one. Hello, my name is Santa Claus. And I am wondering if you know when Android Wear will be available on iOS. Thank yes. you. We answered that already today. Yes. It's available now. Um... Okay, first of all, that's a horrible Santa impersonation. Horrible. Unless his name was Santa, his actual name was Santa Claus. Could be. Also, you kind of have to do a ho ho ho. Like you have to, you have to give, you have to, you know, kind of sign off with a ho 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 ho. Yeah. If you're gonna be Santa Claus, or have some jingle bells in the background, just yeah. jingling and like wind blowing or something. I mean, could have done a way Ste- better production, buddy. You need to step your game up. <laughs> okay. Anyways, Android Wear for iOS is out right now. Okay. Now okay. let's see. Last week we were talking about the Swatch smartwatch. Yeah, to see uh, if people could people. say it five times. We challenged people. How many? So you said we got a lot. Of we got a calls. lot of calls. So <laughs> let's listen to some of these and see. Okay. Hi. I want to ask if you think that the next iPhone will have a 4K camera. Thanks. And by oh. the way, this is the kid talking. I forgot about that. That voice oh, by the kid Sorry. talking. Yeah, the kid talking. The answer, which was answered earlier in the show, yes. is yes. 4K video. Okay. okay, now let's listen to some Swatch smartwatch. Hello, this is iApple. Swatch my watch. Swatch my watch. Swatch my watch. No. Whoa! Okay, iApple guy. The I'm Actually, iApple needs to call back. He sounded like he was saying Swatch, swatch, I watch. swatch my watch. Swatch. <laughs> yeah. I can say Swatch my watch, Swatch my watch, Swatch my watch. <laughs> iApple, the saying was Swatch smartwatch. Yes. It didn't sound like he There's was no way he can do that. There's okay. no way he can do it. That's why he did it that way. Yeah. Let's listen to another one. <laughs> Hi, my name is Karen Woodley. Swatch smartwatch. Swatch smartwatch. Swatch smartwatch. Swatch smartwatch. Nope. Swatch smartwatch. Nope. He messed up after the sec- <laughs> after the first one. He, he messed tried up, so man. hard. This is a very this is a, this is very difficult. It's not easy. My name is Cliff. I'm from New York, and I'm going to try to say <laughs> watch smartwatch five times. 
Watch smart, watch, watch smart. <laughs> <laughs> he gave up after two. It's really hard. It's so hard. It's really hard. Mustafa, swatch my watch. 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 Okay. It's too I heard a swatch my watch. Smart yeah. watch, not smart watch. And I, then I heard a twart. Twatch. He also, like, too, too long of a pause in between your, yes, uh, yes. your call out to. I'm Fletcher. Swatch my watch. Swatch my watch. Smart. Swatch my watch. Smart. Watch no, smart watch. Smotch. He keeps saying smotch. He was like listening to our show watch, while he called him. Watch, watch, smart watch, smart, 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 Hey there, all the smart watch. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> hey there, all the swatchers. Here's Han Solo without Zolo. Han Solo from Germany. From Cologne. And first time calling Apple Bite. Let's do it. Watch, smart watch. Too slow. Watch, smart He's watch. saying it. He's not even. Watch. Smart He's watch. still messed up. Watch smart watch <laughs> and watch smart watch. Oh yeah. Okay, too so slow. But here, here we go. I think it's been proven that this <laughs> exercise is a human exercise in futility. Like, no one said it right. Yeah. The people that tried to say it said it slow. Yeah. The guy who said it slow still said it wrong. Let's just agree right here. It's impossible. It's impossible to yeah. say smart. Swatch smart watch. Swatch smart. <laughs> Swatch smart, watch, watch smart. I can't. It's impossible. <laughs> it's impossible, guys. So um, we here at the Apple Bite salute you and your efforts. Yes, thanks for but trying. But it, it's yeah, thanks for trying. No, no can do. It's fun. It is always fun. So uh, yeah, people asking about the iPad. We'll we'll talk about the iPad next week, just because it's probably not going to show up at this week's uh, up or next week's upcoming event. But again, the Apple Bite extra crunchy, you guys. Uh, Thanks so much for calling in and really making the show like more we're we're getting we're getting there, right? It's more building, organic. Man. We're getting a lot of you guys being a part of it, coming in live, listening in, calling in. We love it. Um one more time, just in case you guys didn't know the phone number to call, to ask us your questions, whatever you want to do. Just to vent. Maybe you have some relationship issues you want to talk about. We can do that too. Yeah. I hope someone actually calls and asks, like, how do I get a how do I get a how do I meet a girl using technology? We got, I, I read an article actually about, there, an about actual how way? to how to hook up with millennials in the, really? this day and age, and if, and apparently the sunglasses emoji is very important. <laughs> so if you use the sunglasses emoji, bra, <laughs> bra, <laughs> bra. So guys, just if you're trying to meet a chick, you want to like text her and be like, "Hey, what's up?" Sunglasses emoji at the end. All right, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see how that flows with my lady. If she even sees like, she's gonna be like, "Why did you send that emoji to me?" <laughs> It's like it's like, hey baby, what you up to tonight? Sunglass emoji. <laughs> I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, try it. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for this week. Um, we're back on schedule. Depending on how the news shakes out, we'll probably be back. Probably, I can't even say that word right now. End of this week. Probably be back on Friday. Yeah. With all the latest and greatest. This is just a catch up for last week. Thanks so much for watching, Stephen Beecham. Say goodbye to lovely people. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching. Peace, everybody. Blah. We're still on though. Oh, we're still yeah, we're still on People YouTube and pair. Bra. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I watched. I watched. Or I didn't watch it, but I heard. Ugh. I heard Howard Stern break it down this morning on the radio. He broke he was, it down. Yeah, he broke down all Yeezy. Like all the different parts of Young his Yeezy ridiculously speech, yeah, speech yeah, that made yeah, no it was, sense. It was amazing. Yeah. Yeah, he he was having he was having some weird. It stuff. didn't make any sense at all, man. No, but it was great. That's what's. That's why I was like, I don't. Honestly, people who say they watch MTV, like that's the only remnant of the MTV even having any music anymore. Yeah. Is the VMAs, but they still don't show video music, video music videos they on don't their show stations music at all. anymore. Yeah. It's like, what's the point? It's fun. It was like wrestling, though, you know? It's yeah. like it's you true. had Nicki Minaj <laughs> talking, like talk, calling, calling out. out uh, my, it's like wrestling. It's awesome. Except it's real. It's kind of just yeah. like wrestling. <laughs> just like wrestling. Yeah. Okay, everybody. What are you ta <clears throat> totters all? <laughs> what are you doing later? Sunglass emoji. <laughs> all right, he did in the periscope. See, dude, it works. It's hella funny. I'm like, I was just gonna answer that question. Oh well. Oh wait, he sunglassed emoji me. Eggplant. The eggplant emoji works too. I've heard. <laughs>
dude eggplant emoji squirt squirt <laughs> have you seen the you'd use that one no there's, but that's that's one if you want to hook a, up with the a millennial there, there's a there's a skeet skeet uh emoji <laughs> yeah that's funny that i tend to use during my free time that's funny <laughs> eggplant eggplant <laughs> <laughs> eggplant cherry eggplant cherry <laughs> <laughs> oh dude people are putting in the scope dude. <laughs> oh shit I'm try- it's just killing me right now okay all right i'm gonna shut down the stream jay maloney how dare you jay maloney what is uh apple bite extra crunchy the home for dirty emojis all right see y'all